thanks for joining me again hello sorry i'm putting you guys in the tripod hey janet hey Fran. hey jenny how are you guys doing Hello, how are you? Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Thank you. Yeah, hey Lauren, I haven't seen you in a while. Hey Bonnie. I'm doing better memorizing names, but pop your name up there if I haven't said it. I'm sorry, but I'm getting better. I am definitely getting better. Lou Windblown. It was Lou Windy at soccer practice. Hey Kim, what's your holo thirty-eight fifty? Cool, cool. Yeah, I'll keep you busy. Hey Tammy, Caroline, Carolina, Carol Anna. Oh, ugh. I'm like tongue twisted. Hey Emily, I'm I'm swear I'm going to get your name memorized. Diana, I remember yours. Oh, hey, I can print something. Here we go. Ashley, welcome, welcome, welcome. So if you guys um, were in here earlier this evening or late this afternoon, hey Ashley, um, we did a Q&A so I thought we would continue that a little bit um, while I had a little bit of coffee and my printer is printing before I need to go back to cutting. And then it's too loud to scope. So figured we'd do a little bit more Q&A if you guys want to. Um, floor is open. You can ask me just about anything as long as it's not too personal and it's not a business secret. <laughs> Thank you. I'm starting to get a little bit in, back into scarves. Um, I found some that I like. I'm really trying. It works well when you're pregnant. Um, I didn't like them so much when I wasn't pregnant, but they work well when I'm pregnant. So I'm embracing it. <laughs> um, oh, you did? Yeah, we just kind of, we went through a lot of different subjects earlier, a lot of different subjects, and I was a little afraid I missed some people's um, comments. How often do I release new stickers? I try to, I look 25, well thank you, I don't know if you need to be in here. Um, I try to release new stickers every month, it just depends on what's going on. I actually have some in the works. Um, do you guys want a sneak peek of a small mini kit? I actually have one done. I printed them off it's just gonna be a mini 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 kit Isn't that cute for April showers so yeah right and I'm full <laughs> I am <laughs> there's no hiding it thank you guys um, so that'll be April showers um, Oh, yeah, they definitely, people always want business secrets. Absolutely. My thing is, is if you want business secrets, create them yourselves. Work hard. Work hard. Um, and don't expect people just to be giving things to you. Because true success is only comes when you um, work hard. It really is. And true success isn't money. It's not, you can't quantify it. It is really honestly a feeling that you have inside. Um, you could not be making a dime and still feel successful. What do I do for a living? I am a stay-at-home mom. Um, two words. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom and I own my own Etsy store. <laughs> Really? Wow. Yeah, exactly. Um, so as we be careful if you are um, commenting and you're supposed to be in here because I'm going to go on a blocking spree, but hopefully I don't block you. I make inserts and stickers for planners. So, um, sorry. Nope. So we're just going to go on a vlogging frenzy. I accidentally blocked Allie from Australia earlier. I felt so bad. So, you need to learn. What do you need to learn? There we go. I think we got a good portion of them done. So you are um, free to start asking questions. I don't think I'll block you. 
So we're pretty good. Oh, yeah, you know. Um, how to get started on your own business? Is that what you're asking? You need to come up with an idea, and then you need to do a lot of research, and then you need to learn business techniques and ethics, and then you just need to take the jump and do it. Um, I suggest having a decent amount of money saved up as an uh, initial investment so that you are not scraping by in the beginning, um, and be willing to work, yeah, and the laws, and be willing to put in long days, uh, lots of hours, and you don't really technically get a day off when you own your own business. You are always working. Um, very similar to being a mom, right? We don't really get a day off from that. You don't get a day off when you own your own business. You do. You work all the time. Even when you're not maybe in your physical office location. Um, oh, okay. Um, if you want to learn about planning, I offered a planning 101 series. It's on my catch. You can go to catch.me forward slash and then my screen name. And you can watch all those. And we covered a lot, a lot of stuff. Sorry, I missed the comment ahead of that. If you could retype it, I'm sorry. So, and we did a whole entire series. I think we made it 15 or 16 nights, ladies, that were in it. I think we did, right? But we'll be picking that back up soon. Oh, cool. That's cool. I worked outside the home, too. I had a very um, great career working for a nonprofit. Um, I worked for them for 10 plus years and then I have been, um, hey Shani, I worked for them for 10 plus years and I worked my way up and I decided just was not for me anymore. Plus my son was born with a disability and he only had one ear. Um, no, I have a traveler's notebook that's used as my junk journal and journaling and um, Bible scripture writing and my Bible studies. So I stopped doing that and since then I have mostly worked for myself since then. And he is 10 now so I've pretty much been um, my boss, my own boss for about 10 years. So um, here and there I had a little bit of breaks and kind of switched things around. Um, he really needed me in the first couple years because he could not hear so do I have, you know, I have mine and the master meal planning list and I am constantly like adding more to it. Is that what you're talking about, Deanna? It's a good idea, Makisha. Yeah, so I have the those offered in my shop and then I do, I have one that I'm currently working on. My other ones are full and they're downstairs, but I can kind of show you. So I've uh, done more breakfast. I really don't do lunch, so I really need to work on lunch. I don't, we do leftovers. And then this is my second sheet. I've already started filling up my second sheet for dinners. So, and I have probably 30 or 40 still in my planner that I need to add to it. I actually need to um, sit down and have the time to do that. Aw, well thank you. It's a great way to meal plan. It works really well. And then you don't have to spend so much time um, thinking and planning your meals all the time or trying to come up with new recipes. So, but um, I have been trying some new recipes here and there to be able to add to it. Um, the Mississippi pot roast. Sorry guys, hands down, best pot roast ever. <laughs> it feels bad. Oh. We'll start simple. Start simple. You know what? It's really great. Start with some crock pot meals because really honestly you throw it in and then you don't have to think about it the rest of the day and then when it comes dinner time, you only have to do like a side or some vegetables. Um, yeah, you're, oh, you're meal planning. And so, Diona, that's a great way to start with cooking when you're not um, really into it or you're not really good at it. Yeah, we usually do salad or some type of noodle or rice side, vegetables. A lot of times I'll do some steamed vegetables when I do a crock pot meal, depending on what's in it. Yeah, that roast is the best. Exactly, and you're not 
spending so much time cooking so it doesn't feel overwhelming in the beginning when you're first learning um, to cook and to kind of get into it. And then it'll spark your interest. So um, the recipe, I don't have it memorized yet. It's pretty simple. I know it's just roast, it's a stick of butter. I wanna say it's onions, ranch dressing, a can of uh, au jus, and then if you want to put it pepperoncinis um, on it, that's the recipe. Yeah. Oh, the Italian. Yeah, and the Italian seasoning. And you um, cook it. You can use the um, au jus packet or you can use a can of it. You've done it. You can get a decent crock pot at Walmart, honestly. Honestly, I wouldn't spend too much on it. Um, I don't know, Lauren. It's whatever's on the Pinterest tried and true. And I think you're on that board with me. I don't have it completely memorized. Um, but get a crock pot from like Target or Walmart, honestly, because you don't need an expensive crock pot to make a good meal. Yeah, if you want to spend a little bit more money, you can get a pressure cooker or a slow crock. Uh, <laughs> slow cooker option but get a crock pot that the inside comes out and you can wash it one that's not just one all one piece because the one piece crock pots are really hard to keep clean because you can like only clean part of it so get the one that has the insides that come out keep it simple for yourself yeah so much easier and liners. Yeah, you can spend the money on the liners. I don't. We just clean it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely class. Yeah, they do have the ones now that you can go from um, stove top. And you can use them in the oven. She does. I haven't tried those. You like liners? I'm sure they're probably, yeah. They would probably even make it a lot easier. Um, most of the time, I actually have them in my drawer, and most of the time, I completely forget <laughs> they're there. I'm like, darn it, I forgot to use a liner again. It's just old habits of just, you know, cooking in the day. I started cooking when I was young with my mom, and I never stopped. So, <laughs> some of the things I do today are still because that's how she taught me how to do it. And we didn't have liners back then. <laughs> Game changer, I bet. Well, I have a teenager for dishes, so <laughs> I don't think about it. <laughs> for cheese dip, yeah, yeah. That stuff gets really hard and crusty on the sides, doesn't it? All right, so what other questions do y'all have? Um, technically almost a year. We've been together for two years, but um, a year. I know it's not very long, but um, <laughs> But I'm always happy when I do use one. Yeah, and then we're doing um, our ceremony in September with all of our family. And so we're very excited about it. We have a lot of planning. So I was at the hairdresser today. Got my hair done, right? Um, and so she's counting down the weeks because, of course, she's doing my hair for it. She's been my hairdresser since I moved to Ohio in 2010. So she's been doing my hair through three pregnancies now. <laughs> um and so she's counting the weeks to like plan out when my next appointment should be. I have 22 weeks, 22 weeks until all this goes down. And if I do things, obviously I do with them big because not only are we having our entire families here and doing the ceremony and having a lot of fun, but the babies do at the same time. Really all 22 weeks. I went into panic mode for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> 22 weeks? I'm not ready. And then my mind goes, you need to get this done. You did. I mean, like I was listing things off in my head. It was a little crazy. I, um, yeah, luckily I'm a planner girl. So, mm, it would be cool. And we're doing a home delivery, so it could be possible. We'll just have the whole gang here. Um, which would be really cool. My mother has never been able to be 
there when any of her grandchildren were born. Um, and bear in mind, I've been giving her grandchildren for 16, no, I'm not, for almost 16 years. Um, my one sister has two babies and my, my other sister has one and then my other sister doesn't have any. And she's never been physically there when we had a baby. She's always had to come afterwards. So it would be kind of cool. It would be a lot going on at once, but yeah. And she's never been able to see face to face, like us announce what we're having. Um, and she's going to be here two days after we find out what we're having. So we're going to do like a reveal for her. So yeah, so it's kind of cool. It's a big year. It's an awesome year. Like I'm just overwhelmed, but I'm excited. Yeah. Exactly. Um, we haven't completely. I liked your cup idea, and we're having like a mini um, birthday party for our youngest, Delisle. Yeah. So um, I really liked the cup idea, so we might do that. Um, his parents are going to be here too, so whatever I do for my mom, I have to do for his mom too. So. 14 weeks. Oh my gosh. You're almost there. That's awesome. First one. Oh, I remember my first one. It's so special. Your first one's special. Not that all of them aren't special, but your first one is really special. Because all those things are new to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little. My heart is going ooh, like this. Okay, ask a Periscope question. Shoot it out, Becky. I'm going to take another sip of coffee. Yep, you can search hashtags. Absolutely. You can search hashtags um, on Twitter and find them. And you can also do it on Catch, which is really cool. Yep. I actually tried it the other day just to double check myself. And can anyone use the hashtag mommy scopes? Um, anybody can. We prefer that you are a part of the Facebook group. <laughs> oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah, Instagram can too. Um, but we're talking about like your Periscope hashtags. Yes, there's a Facebook group. You can go to um, polkadotswishes.com. Or you can go to mommyscopes.com and it will give you links to get to the Facebook group. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's funny. How soon after joining Periscope should you do Pass the Cast to build your business? Mm, I'm not quite sure. I don't know. How established are you? Yes, we're, we are going to start a new series. Right? I know. I felt the same way. Actually, I didn't want to find any man whatsoever. I didn't want to be around them. I thought they all sucked. <laughs> Excuse my language. I thought they were all horrible. And you fell in love with the FedEx guy? Are you kidding? Seriously, is that your story? Because <laughs> that's awesome. Um... Yeah, if you've ever tuned into my other scopes, I've kind of like told a little bit of the story, but he was very persistent and he didn't let me say no to him courting me. And he really did court, old fashioned courting where he would come by and he would mow my yard for me or do things off my to-do list. I would put a little bit, um, and now you have a two year old, oh that's sweet. I put a little bit more time under your belt, get a little bit more comfortable doing Periscope. You want to make sure that you're, you've got kind of a solid feet underneath you, and then you can give it a go. I know, you need to scope the story. You totally do. You're welcome. You love, are you going to fall in love with your FedEx guy too? <laughs> For the longest time, this was years ago, we had, our UPS guy was so, um, so good looking. He really was. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, exactly. Is your friend's husband? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you need to. You need to. You should. Um, it just takes a little bit of time before you get over the nerves. No, I imagine you will not be flirting with him. That would be a strange conversation with your friend. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. I, hey, I could see him coming to my door. He was very cute. But now, a couple years ago, we got a different guy. You just got to get back into it. I had to take a break when I wasn't feeling good, Bonnie, and it was really hard for me to get back at it. <laughs> yes, honey, he's not good looking anymore. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> and I should know, we've had quite a few packages. No, you did good. You did good the other day. Stop letting it scare you. Yeah, seriously. You need to. You need to do like how to decorate cakes or cupcakes. <laughs> and your FedEx guy is hot, I bet. Yeah, you married him. <laughs> yeah, and cookies. See, Bonnie, that's what you need to scope about. You need to scope about, um, but you have to scope out about something that you're knowledgeable in and you're confident in. Don't try to do random chit chat scopes in the beginning. Um, there you go. That's something that you're interested in. So make sure you have a topic in the beginning. Um, it's not easy to just come on and just blah, 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 about anything, okay? So in the beginning, have yourself a topic. Write notes. I wrote myself notes in the beginning, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Like, I was scripted. I had, like, myself little scripts. Periscope, who me, da, 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 da. and I wrote out what I wanted to talk about, and I made sure I had a purpose and a vision. And you know what? I still kind of do that. Oh my gosh, look. This was my introduction on one of the mom hops. That's so cool to see. Um, and so that's it helped me out in the beginning a lot. And so now I can still have a topic but it's a little bit easier for me to just kind of go with the flow and t see how the scope is going. I did, I don't say hello, hello, because I didn't introduce myself. I was like, Erica, I'm a hopeful, da -da -da -da. I mean, like, literally, I wrote it out. <laughs> yeah, some people don't show their face, but I'm going to tell you what, people want to see your face, they want to know you, they want to get to know you. And you don't have to be perfect because nobody expects perfection. But they like to see the real person. They really do. Exactly. And this is a great way to get to know people. Mm hmm Yeah, so. Periscope kicked you to the curb. I'm sorry. Nope, just go for it. Give yourself a time limit if you need to. Give yourself some notes. Have a specific topic. And then when you're done with it, cut it off. And then there's no, you don't have to have that awkward time. So. Okay, so that was the Periscope question. Yeah, time limit. I don't know what that, I don't know what that is anymore. <laughs> yeah, do your hair, put on some makeup. No, you're fine. You're fine. I've seen people in scopes and you're like, well, where'd they go? It didn't make me stop watching them. So, I forget to introduce myself all the time. All the time. I'm like, I should, but I don't. <laughs> oh, we're just trying to help her feel better. You have enough confidence to pull it off. I finally have been doing some with like, I'm not completely, I'm not done up, so. It takes time. Oh, but by the way, Shani loved your sweater last night. <laughs> yeah, that's happened to me. That has happened to me. I've had a naked baby on a scope before and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
but that's real life. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. And I love that you called it lamb chop because I was like, most people don't even know who that is. So that was really good. All right, anybody else have another question? These are fun. These are good questions. Keeping track of my time. Actually waiting for the printer to stop so I can start cutting. Well, then just put it in your planner what day you're going to get started and then stick to it. Stick to it. And then don't let a lot of time go between the first time you scope and the next time. Don't. Because then it's just like starting all over again. So don't let a lot of time pass between your scopes. Um, because then you'll pick up the momentum. Um, right, Bonnie? So you, you want to pick up that momentum. You want to keep the ball rolling, so to speak, on that. So what age do I remember having what? My first planner. Um, I physically can remember my first planner from middle school. I know that I had no notebooks before then because... I um, have seen them and I have a few of them, but I don't remember doing them, but I first remember actually doing one for middle school. Yeah, so sixth grade. That's about when I, middle school was either sixth or seventh grade. How do you learn how to market your business? Um, books. There's a lot of magazines that you can get into that will teach you some things. Classes can. Um, I've learned a lot <laughs> going to college about it. Um, and then you can also, marketing has changed in this day and time. And so a lot of um, the old types of marketing don't work anymore. They're just not as effective. And so I would really look into social media type of marketing and blogs about that. You can get um, different information, especially through the internet because it's wide open. Um, but marketing has completely changed in the, what, in the way you need to market. So I would look more that way. Oh yeah, do you remember those Lisa, what were the, Lisa something? Oh my gosh, I know they're Lisa Frank. Yes, I loved sticker books. Loved them. I had so many. Do you remember the scratch and stiff, sniff stickers and then the puffy stickers? And then they had the foil ones. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Do you guys remember writing in bubble letters? Do you guys remember writing in bubble letters? They did. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, oh my gosh, so was I. Right? Okay. Yeah, bubble letters. I have books and books of bubble letters of just everything. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. See, we had fun back then. We've just matured it a little bit and still having fun. Oh yeah, the pens. Mm. Right? <laughs> catchers. You, uh, okay. Yeah, I love, yes, exactly. Yeah, that was a nice question, right? Right now, my favorite pen is probably not in here. Ah! There's one of them. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I really like my um, Tombow Air Press right now. Oh, awesome. What is your first name? And then I really like my erasable pens. And for some reason, it's not on my desk right this second, which is odd. So my child probably moved it to my other desk. Um, and then I also have really loved using my colored Sharpies. Those have been really huge. And then Le Pens. I love Le Pens. Um, I've got most of my Tombow pens off of Amazon. Keely. 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 
or something. Like, oh my gosh. I'm really bad. I'm really bad. You would think that would be a little bit better because I can speak other languages. But I'm always messing up. L. Key L. Key L. Awesome. That kind of sounds like Star Wars-ish, doesn't it? Or like an elf name, which are my favorite. Key L. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you've been enjoying them. Thanks for watching them. I really appreciate it. We were just talking about what we need to start a new series up. We need to get it going. So, I have some ideas, but I really need to kind of put more thought into it and get a, kind of like a series a schedule of what topics that we want to talk about. And then um, I have a few more people to contact. I want them to guest host it. Yeah, it's a scope series, Planning 101 series. As a matter of fact, Shani, you were going to be one of the people I contact. Um... I do, planning to do one, yeah. I do have some local, I actually started a local um, crafters guild in a sort, and we have done it a couple times together. So, uh, <laughs> um, we have done a couple at a coffee shop, and we have done one in my home so far. And one person do each night. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Um, Bible studies are great to do with people kind of um, share what you're learning and what's on your heart. So um, as long as they're like to share, some people really like to keep some of that really private. Um, but it's a lot of fun to just like be reading the same thing. Um, we do Bible studies with Cultivating the Lovely. Uh, right now we're on a break and we're getting ready to do the Ruth study. Um, believe for the beginning of May. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And we do that all um, through Periscope. So, that has been really enjoyable. Thanks for sharing, Keisha. So, anybody have any other questions? And then I'm going to cut it out pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. So, coordinating schedules sometimes is hard to do. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, kind of like hitting more on what, um, what goes into homemaking and how you can really cultivate it even, um, better, different categories of homemaking from cooking to laundry to picking up to beautifying, um, kind of more on the lines of the book club that we're doing too, where we're doing the life, um, life giving home. So I think kind of like on that, I don't have all the specifics about it yet um, but just kind of talk about have more discussions about what it means to be a homemaker and how it really is a job like we need to take it seriously <laughs> which most of us do most of us do um, I think personally I personally think that a lot of people have taken um, yeah um, have taken home planning or homemaking and let it become a burden instead of finding the joy in it. And I think we need to get back to the joy of it because it really is a great job. It really is a great job um, to make your home a home. And that's what a homemaker does, right? So I think we need to get back to the joy of it. Um, we let ourselves become so overwhelmed with what needs to get done or the mundane because we do the same thing every single day, right? And you, we kind of get that attitude of, geez, really, do I really have to mop the floor again? I just did it the other day. Or I don't want to scrub another the toilet. Um, <laughs> and so we just, it's also not seen as a real job. Exactly, exactly. Um, and so finding the joy in it and just really taking it seriously, having the attitude that you do report to work that is your job, um, I think that's really important. It really is. It really is. And I think we need to be telling each other that. Yes. You're curious? Okay. Well, that's a good question. <laughs> so... 
<clears throat> it started off years ago, and somebody said to me, your life is always so chaotic, but why are you happy? And I said, because it's a blessing. I don't know um, what life would be like if it wasn't. I come, I'm the oldest of five, so I grew up in that, but chaos never meant destruction and a horrible time. To me, chaos of life was the noise, the excitement, um, the singing, the laughing, um, sometimes the crying, the everybody coming together and we would clean on Saturday mornings. That Our life was chaotic all the time, but it was so joyful. And so that's kind of how the name started. Um, and it's just a saying that I've kept with me um, for forever. I have kept the saying in my mind. And so that when it came time to like do a business, that's what I kind of wanted. So I just stuck with it. Um, and so yeah, and it was really cool because actually a saying that I've said for years, I heard on a movie not too long ago, um, which is really cool. And I was like, that's awesome. Cause I literally have been writing it since I was probably 22. Um, so, and life is about finding the joy, purpose, and meaning in the chaos. And to me, that's chaotic blessing. And so that's where I came from. So there you go. <laughs> and what's better than a mom with kids around them all the time? It's always chaotic. I don't do well when it's like dead noise. You did awesome. I'm glad you could use it. I'm sneaking that in every once in a while. Um, some of you will get it on sticker sheets. It's my little um, word logo. So I'm kind of like sneaking it in. <laughs> So, and I'm really excited because my um, logo drawing is done, but I need to color it. <laughs> so I need to find time. I have four kids and one on the way. So we will have five children. Five children. Um, I've actually, I should say I'm the mom to, I've been the mom to total six. My stepson committed suicide a couple of years ago when he was 16. So... I was a mom to quite a few. How old are they? I forgot. Um, my oldest is getting ready to turn 16. And uh, yeah, it was really cool when he was drawing it. Then the next one is 10. The next one's five and a half. And then the baby right now is two, going to be three in a couple of weeks. Um, so, and then we have a little baby in the oven. And then my stepson would have been... 19. Yes, this pregnancy has been so different. Um, I'm, oh, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. It's been so different. I was really sick. I've never been this sick. My first one, I was sick. I couldn't eat or drink, not even do ice chips, but I didn't feel bad. So they put me on a home IV, but I wasn't, didn't feel bad. This one, for six weeks, I felt horrible. Horrible. I couldn't even function and I wasn't throwing up I just I couldn't function I felt horrible so that was a new thing for me because I've never um, been sick with a pregnancy so that was a new experience so now I know what everybody <laughs> complains about on the first trimester I never really knew I was like what are you talking about pregnancy's easy <laughs> so, and I love being pregnant and this still didn't make me not love being pregnant yeah it was no, but I have a hope. <laughs> I have a hope. Do you guys know what I'm hoping to have? Uh, can you take one guess? I'll tell you. I have three girls and a boy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lisa. I got it done today. We want a boy. So, lady, okay. I'm going to share this with you. You guys don't hate me for saying this because I was totally joking. I had a lady at soccer. My daughter goes to preschool with her daughter <coughs> and we just found out we're on the same team so they were very excited so she was chit-chatting she's like do you know what you're having yet and I said no but we find out a couple weeks and she's like yeah but don't you um a couple weeks I'm on countdown mode and she's like yeah but you only have one boy right and I was like yeah she goes I bet you want I said yeah it better be a boy because if it's a girl I'm giving it away <laughs> 
and I was, she just died laughing. Literally, I thought she was going to fall off her chair because I was like, I said it with a straight face and everything. I was like, yeah, but if it's a girl, I'm giving it away. <laughs> so I totally shocked her. I've been through the middle school and then I'm in the high school years. I, I mean, I've done it and I have two more behind her. Lord, help me. And one of them's a redhead. That's coming up. Lord, help me. You guys think I'm calm and nice right now? I don't know how long that will last. I might be a manic mother. I know. You know what? In all honesty, although this weekend we sat down and I started picking out girls' names because I had only picked out boys' names. And for the first time, I was settled. I know, but I like to guess, yeah. I was like, okay, if we have a girl, I could do this because I really like this name. So I had a moment where I was like, all right, maybe I won't give it away if it's a girl. <laughs> he's so moody. My 10 year old, he started becoming moody recently and I'm like, really? Come on, you were like so perfect. She's a handful, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I did have a moment this weekend where I was like, I think I could handle it because I like the name. <laughs> That's the only reason. I like this name that I picked out. So, and of course, the kids have opinions about names, and I said, you guys don't get an opinion this time. 12, 9, almost 7. Yeah. See? You know. Your oldest son was the easiest. Yeah, boys, I mean, they can. They can be easier by quite a bit. But my girls are lovely, and I love them very much. <laughs> yeah, at some point in time, you're like, I just gotta stop because I'm gonna do it again and I'll get another boy. <laughs> I bet you do. I bet you do. I think, and Coda would like to have um, a, another brother. Um, I think um, he took his brother dying probably the hardest. It's been harder for him recently because he was so much younger when it happened. Um, so I think that it would help with this healing process a little bit. So it'd be great if we could do it. If not, you know, we'll find other ways, but I think it would be fun. Yeah. He plays with his sisters really well too when he's in the right mood. Or <laughs> other times he's just like, mom, they're just babies. I don't want to play with them. But the five-year-old thinks she's old enough to play with him and wants to do like Minecraft and all these things. So she's a hoot. Yeah, he can be the bigger brother. Exactly, exactly. So, all right. I guess I have to get back to work, y'all. I'm a little dreading it right now. <laughs> I gotta get the printer running and I gotta get these machines cutting and you can't hear me if I'm cutting. So I'm going to head out and you guys have a good night. Um, I know it's silent. Oh, Jenny, thank you. I'm sorry. Okay, wait. I have to stay on for a little bit longer. Okay. So, this is probably the easiest way to get some feedback. It, as opposed to, I could send surveys to the customers, but... So, I am up for feedback. Criticism and praise, it doesn't matter. Um, but for those of you who have ordered once, twice, or more in my shop, I would love to hear some feedback. Um, we've been doing it for a while now, so I think it's a good time to kind of just evaluate, see how things are going, see if you guys are happy. I just got um, a message. I think I messed up on somebody's order. Not too happy about that, but I always <laughs> fix them. So I'm going to have to take care of that one. But, so... You can hand me with feedback. You will not hurt my feelings. I will not cry. Thanks, Lauren. You're sweet. <laughs> You're sweet. Um, other than my kids, almost 16, 10, um, 5 and a half, and almost 3. Other than somebody saying they've been waiting for the Cultivating the Lovely packet, I'll take criticism because we all know I'm pushing them out. You'll get some after you get it. Yeah, you placed your first order. That was exciting. It's coming. I know it's coming, Bonnie. I saw your name. 
You love the products you have so far? Good. Is there anything you guys would like to see? Um, take in consideration my style and the, how I design. Okay, so you like the paper? You're good on the paper? All right. Pink, girly, and flowery. Okay. I actually have a kit coming like that. I think that you will like. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Awesome. Good. Yeah, I like feedback. Um, I really enjoy getting um, more scriptures are coming. I really enjoy getting conversations through Etsy, especially if there's something wrong, because I have no problem fixing things. Um, sometimes even I'll be like, I think I messed this up. Um, before you even get your arm, like, oh, I'm not sure because so much is coming through that I'm like, I don't remember doing this. Um, we do, I actually have quite a few coming out scripture related. Um, if you guys can hang tight and it will actually be part of Cultivate the Lovely planner line. So, and it's exciting. Yeah, exactly. It is because I'm one person. One person. I do have a volunteer helping me right now with Cultivate the Lovely planner line, but I'm one person and I can make mistakes. Sports related. Okay. Because some of these I need to draw. Oh, yeah, some of them because they're skinnier. Okay. I can add more of a white background. I can add a little bit more of a white background um, for the word ones so they're not as thin. Or make the font thicker. So we could definitely do that. That would. Um, or a thicker font. I'm taking notes. I'm <laughs> trying to use this next time. Well, hopefully I have it fixed next time. Oh, yeah. Um, I have a budget insert um, coming pretty soon. I'm actually um, collaborating with somebody on that. Um, and they're a financial planner because I really want to... Um, I am on again. Um, I really want to make it functional to the best ability. So I'm actually working with um, a financial advisor and that's their specialty just to kind of make sure that my um, thought process is right. I know how I, I budget or I should say how Jason budgets <laughs> and how we do our family, but not everybody does everything the same. So that will be coming. I'm hoping before um, sometime this summer by the summer. Kenzie, how are you feeling? Yeah, I do. I research. Um, oh, I had tea earlier, but now I did some coffee. Um, yeah, you better work. We do have a homeschool edition coming out. We actually just talked about that yesterday and kind of made ourselves a timeline, and we're shooting for um, mid-summer. Um, so what you can do if you have a traveler's notebook, do you use the large inserts or the small inserts? Because I have a suggestion for you. And you can already use the inserts that I make. The large ones. Okay. So, yeah, good. I want them spinning. Um, so if you use the large, hang on, let me write Bonnie's thing, baking. The large, you take the A5 and you can actually use washi and washi the back. Um, and you kind of do like a book binding so you can actually still open it up and you can use any insert in your traveler's notebook. So you can actually add in pages. So you could use inserts right now. Yeah. Um, do I have washi here? I will show you a quick example while you guys are popping up questions. I'm still loving the feedback. <laughs> You're wanting to get a doki? That's cool. 
Okay. So we're going to say this is a page in your traveler's notebook. Okay. You know, you have a page here and you can turn it. This is your insert. You're just going to put it down as dories. The dory, the Midori or the dory part of it is the outside. Okay. And the traveler's notebooks are the inserts that you put on the inside of those. So the dory is a holder and the traveler's notebooks are the inserts. And then you're just going to literally washi it. Obviously, I have too long of, but you're just going to washi it to that page. And then this is your, you know, this is your book, and you would still have your book. It would flip open the same. You'd have your insert, and you'd keep on going. So that's what you can do. Cute cards. I wonder where I possibly could have gotten those from. <laughs> I have them all over my desk. <laughs> so, hopefully that helps you. And you can, um, <laughs> Mackenzie and I, <laughs> the upside down, I don't know. I actually did that again the other day. I was like, oh, I think this is upside down. Seriously, y'all. I do too. I'm loving them. The journal cards? Yeah, thank you. I wasn't sure how well those were going to fly like if people wanted them but I love using them so I'm loving that they finally picked up I had them listed for a while and nobody bought any they were just like sitting there I was like okay maybe I need to take that down um but then they kind of really took off so and Mackenzie and I love them so we put them in the um we put them in the uh planner line yeah what do I use them for? I jot down little notes. I use them for journaling. Sometimes I put, um, I need to remind myself um, something that I'm feeling or thinking. I'll show you. I used one this week. Yeah, and they make the week chunky, right? Really chunky. I like the ones that say something too, That, but then I, like on this one, I actually added something a little bit to tell myself scars heal even the ones we can't see just as a little reminder to myself um, sometimes I just use it for decoration because the card itself is enough like this one was just in there for decoration so sometimes I write a little scripture on it that I'm working on for that week or that I want to um, remember a song I've done that I put song lyrics on one so and then I've been using these to actually um, record what my verse of the day was um, on Wednesday on Wednesday my verse was Philippians 413 I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me because I really needed to remember that I was like I can do this I can keep going um, so that was my verse on Wednesday. So, which was cool because I got to see it all day long when I kept on looking back at my, what my daily focus was and what my tasks were. So, that worked out well. Alright, let me flip back to my notes page. I was taking notes on what you guys said. Alright, I have Bonnie's, she wants baking and cooking stuff. And we want pink girly flowery sports, make the words a little bit thicker or thicker font, the budget insert. I need to, ooh, Paisley. Um, oh, have a good night. Um, I'm actually going to add the description in my shop to remind people that my stickers are waterproof and archival safe, which I need to do that. I've known the knowledge, but apparently I forgot to put it in the description. So that was a good one on me. So. And I forget what, I wrote a word and I don't know what it is, but I know somebody wanted like weight loss or scales. And I forget the word in front of it. I'll have to go back and watch the scope from earlier today. So. Alright. If you guys don't have anything else, then I will head out. 
it is hard, right? Because, first of all, um, steps walked. Weights for workout, okay. Um, because it's like talking about yourself, and I have a hard time talking about myself and saying like what my best qualities are. Um, and so writing descriptions of your product is very similar. It gives me the same feeling of like, oh, I don't know what to say. I'm like trying to block these off so I know which ones go together. I do have that. It's called the finance markers. I have um, payday bills. I talk about yourself. Let me go. Um, that's coming. That is coming. Hang on. Sorry. I'm like looking something up. Um, yeah, so the finance markers, they say pay time off, holiday deposit, payday, and bill due. And there's three columns. Most of it's payday and bill due. And they, right now they come in two colors, the um, teal and hot pink. And those are called finance markers in the shop. And you get, yeah. Three PTO, three holiday, four deposits, eight paydays, and 12 bill dues. With little spaces to write in it. So I have that. Um, mm, yeah, on all the... Um, for HP, either their punch or the arc punch or a leverage punch. Uh, Levenger punch on all the minis if you go to the mini sheet and it's the one that has the check marks on it and then the dollar signs at the bottom it has envelopes that you can put down and put for incoming mail or outgoing mail um, and every kit has that page in it yeah and you can buy just that page also so you can buy that on its own. So it has check marks, dollar signs, a clean it uh, little list, a couple quarter boxes, and then um, envelopes. And that's on one of the mini sheets. <clears throat> Usually it's the same number in every kit, but not always, depending on how many sheets I made for that kit. So these are great. Look at all these notes. I'm loving it. I needed this, y'all. I, I really did. Hello, thanks for joining. Do you guys have any other ones or questions? No? Okay. If you guys want to be silent, then I'm going to go. <laughs> oh, pills? Okay, like medicine? Um, well, you can use that to just mark your period. You don't have to use mama cloths um, specifically. I have a couple people who use them, and that's what they use to mark it. Medicine or vitamins? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm following along with you now. Sorry. <laughs> yes, good night. I need to um, go cut some stuff. And then I need to kind of cut it early tonight because my throat is really hurting. Pet care. Okay. Okay, I have that one written down too. I'm gonna turn this into a nice pretty list. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> you could, Janet, you're too funny. All right guys, we're gonna do this again because I've had so much fun doing Q&A and definitely getting you guys' feedback. 
So I'm going to make it a habit of doing this more often because this was a fun scope. And so was it, it was fun earlier. Um, so thank you. You guys, no, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because you guys made these, these two scopes wonderful. So have a good night and God bless. I will see you tomorrow.